Hello and welcome back to another episode of Art Fairy Core Let's Play. So for today's video, I love eating fruit and vegetables, but it's getting kind of old, to be honest. <laughs> so we're actually going to start today's video in the kitchen. Now, we have this special little mod called Farmer's Delight. And we have a ton of recipes that we can make. Now, since we are a vegetarian, I want to go through... Oh, <laughs> hit the mic there. <laughs> I want to go through and just see what I can and can't make. So basically just go through and bookmark like literally all the veg like all the vegetarian meals. So it just it's just so it's easier. And that's including desserts too. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll let y'all watch that while I do that. All right, let's make our first dish. Stuffed potato. Yum. Before we do anything else though, I kind of need some more um, utensils or tools to cook. So we have the cooking pot. So we need a shovel, bricks, iron, and a bucket of water. So we can go make or go get a bucket of water. Why do I say that's so weird? <laughs> Let's just get a bucket of water, y'all. Alright. And then we need to make a shovel. Doesn't matter what kind of shovel. I think it said... Oh, I forgot there's chick- Oh, I forgot you could put stuff in the fridge. Wait! Let me put my- Let me put my stuffed- <laughs> My stuffed potato in the fridge. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Let me find my rice. Oh, we might as well cook this too. Huh. Okay. Put that on there. Uh. I don't think I have any rice actually. Okay, cooked chicken. Alright, anything else that's cooked? Okay, cool. So we can put that in there. Alright. So we need a wooden shovel with clay. So we need to smelt some. Or sorry, with bricks. We need to smelt some uh, clay, which should be here. So we'll do that super quick. Um, let's make a wooden shovel. Boop, boop, boop. And then we need some iron. So we'll put that back. Two bricks. And with this, we can make like this real quick our cooking pot now I'm sure this needs to be over a stove as well so we probably need to make another stove and get rid of that so let's see what we need to make that stove bricks a campfire which is just a log sticks and coal Log, sticks, and coal. I'm curious, what'll happen if I eat this? Oh, you can't even eat it. Like, it literally won't let you. Okay, interesting. <laughs> okay, bricks. We need one piece of coal, some sticks. 
Um, what else? What else? And logs. So we'll just take. Um, we'll just do that. See if 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 that'll work. Do that. That. Okay. And then. We need bricks. Let's add oh like that. Oh boy, if I could do it right. <laughs> and see if I have any more clay. I should somewhere. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we'll just let this melt a little bit. Wait on that. For now, let's see if we can just put it down on the counter. Okay, perfect. Yay. All right, let's access this. Put that away since we literally can't eat it. And let's see what we need for a cutting board. Here it is right here. Okay, so just this. All right, perfect. And then we can put that, let's put it here. And I think you can actually place your knife on it. You can, yay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, so we can get rid of this. Let's see how to make a fried egg. Okay, so just putting it on the skillet. And we can make a ton of fried eggs if that's the case. Oh my gosh, we're really cooking it up, y'all. Go us. <laughs> okay, we can get rid of that one. Um, I'm going to make some glass bottles and fill, fill her up with milk. So we're going to do half. Oops. Half of that. And then we're going to do this. Yep, 24. And then I'll just go fill these up with milk just in case we need to use them for later on. So we just have some on deck. Super duper easy. Hello, cows. Eh? Wait, how do I get... I thought you just right click them. Wait, 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 wait. Speaking of which, I am hungry, so we can have some some fried egg. Nice. Um. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Just a little, a little stumble. Alrighty. And I'm glad I made more than one. See. I know what I be doing most of the time, <laughs> half the time. Okay, milk, and then it said this and this, I believe. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so we can go. So we'll do this, that, and that. All right, perfect. We have some milk bottles. We can go ahead and put our fried eggs in there. Let's check on our on our bricks to see if they're done smelting or enough of them is done smelting. Okay, let's put some of that in there. Perfect. Nice. Okay. So so so. We're just gonna put it on this side. Just because. All right, cool. It kind of bothers me. <laughs> it kind of bothers me just a little bit. Should I just put both on the same side and make one gigantic stove? Oh, I forgot all of that was in there, LOL. And then we'll put that there and then we'll keep that there and then ooh ooh we'll just take away this 
put that down and then fill this up and then eh oh okay <laughs> i'm getting confused okay and then fill that up with goodies i don't really know if the mandrake can be used for food but we're just gonna put it there anyways and then we can put um do i want to move that i think we'll put it over here and then we will put our knife down and then we can put this knife back okay cool 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 so that is that done we can get rid of this so we have milk bottles um let's see what else we can make a tomato sauce so in the cooking pot just two tomatoes and a bowl We'll do two bowls and then four tomatoes. Two bowls, two tomatoes. <gasps> Yay, I kind of wish you could see it like actually going in there. Okay, cool. Made some tomato soup. There's these melon popsicles. Oh, I need some touch for that. Okay, okay. Well, we'll come back to that. Barbecue on a stick. I can't do that one. Ooh, an egg sandwich. Interesting. We've got some bread. Let's get our eggs. And let's make this egg sandwich. Put that there. There and there. Boom, an egg sandwich. Oh my god, why? <laughs> I'm actually really having fun. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, egg sandwich, another salad. Interesting, a mixed salad, cabbage leaves, okay. Let's make this stuffed pumpkin. So just need rice, onion, mushroom, um, rice, onion, mushroom. I think it's called for a potato onion we don't have a brown mushroom that can't be right let me go look in the in the seed drawer drawer <laughs> storage um i'm about to say we really don't have one but we do we do okay trying to decide if i want to bring anything else down i think i'll bring that down okay So we can put, um, I think it also said a sweet berry in a beetroot, I think. I don't think we have a beetroot. Ooh, um, stuffed pumpkin. Oh, it could be a carrot. It could be a carrot. Okay. We have a carrot. Ooh, we got our tomato sauce. No clue what to use that for, but I'm sure it's something. So we'll put that in there for now. Um, for this pumpkin. Okay, and we need a pumpkin to put it in. Okay, so pumpkin and rice, onion, rice, onion, that, and then this this potato what did it call for yeah 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 oh <gasps> yay oh my <laughs> so exciting so exciting okay that is our stuffed pumpkin bowl of stuffed pumpkin i'm pretty sure you just get that from from thing should we should we do some baking some baking maybe um ooh make an apple pie question mark so we need pie crust which is wheat and a milk bottle i should put my milk bottles in the fridge huh that makes the most sense so we do that just give me one milk bottle and then some wheat we need three wheat 
and then put that here, here, and here, and then our milk bottle to make some pie crust. And then we need three apple, three wheat, two sugar. Three apple, three wheat, and two sugar. Oh, we need some more sugar. Okay. And I move that. <gasps> Stop. Can I put it down? Oh my god. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Our stuffed pumpkin is done. We can put that down on the table. <gasps> no, we can't. Err. Err. Oh, actually, can I pick this up? Oh, <gasps> no. No. You can't pick it up. Okay. You cannot pick it up. That's fine. Yay. And I think you just need a bowl to pick it up. Yes. Nice. So fun. Oh, my calendar. Let's put that in there. I really wish you could hang that up kind of annoying that you can't but it is spring so yay we love spring okay i'm gonna put my oop, glass in there put my bucket in there and i'll just put the counter in there because <laughs> we don't really need it or i guess you know what let me see it might not look bad if i just bring it out one more yeah it's not bad okay um Ooh. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Should I try making the apple pie again? Let's go get some sugar. I'm pretty sure I have sugar cane. Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So, we need another milk bottle. We'll need some wheat. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then some apples. One, two, three. And I think that was it. So to make the crust, you need to do this with a milk bottle. And then it was one, two, three, one, two, three, this, this. Perfect. Okay, we're going to put it over here because we have our sweet section going on over here. And I might actually move the pancake stack. Can I put it on the table, please? Please? Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me. We'll put the, the pancake stack right there. Okay, yay. Yay, yay, yay. What else can we make? Okay, so these slices of stuff is just whenever you cut it. Um, do do do. Should we try making a drink? Should we make some hot cocoa? I think we should. I think we should. Okay, let's go get some cocoa beans. And I think that'll be the last thing that I will make for today. Um, cocoa beans. Let's go ahead and take all of those downstairs. I re I've really wanted to get into Farmer's Delight, but I just never, I never did. Okay, um, a milk bottle. Like, whenever I would play it in, in like, certain certain mod packs and, and stuff like that, I never was able to get to it because there was just so much other things to do. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so this needs to go on the stove. Or you could brew it. Oh, this is much simpler because you don't have to use up a milk bottle. Okay, let's see how to make a kettle. Because that might be easier. Oh, cute. Okay, copper, a bucket, sticks, and leather. Okay, we can do that. We'll just have to make another bucket. So, let's do this. Oops. That. Um, let's get some leather. One leather. Sticks and copper. So then we can do that. And let's put everything back. Um, put those back in there. That can go in there. Because at this point, it's getting very cluttered. Very cluttered. Okay. 
so coffee or cocoa beans, excuse me, and what else? Cocoa, cocoa, and sugar with a bottle. Oh, it does. Nar, nar. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move the cooking pot. Put that there, and then we'll do sugar. Let's make like three, because why not? Oh, oh, that's four. Three, and then let's get some glass bottles, two more, and add that there. And then we will have our... Oh, that's such a cute addition. I love that. Served on a milk bottle? What does that mean? <coughs> Served on milk bottle. Oh, does it have to be like, oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Gotcha games for real. Oops. Okay, perfect. Oh, and now we have some hot cocoa. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, let's put our other little ingredients away. And we can get on with the rest of the video. I don't know about you guys, but sure we have Reese, Zeph, and Celeste, and our lovely poor farm animals along with our chicken coop, but it's kind of lonely and I would love some 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 life over here and you know we have the bees and and whatnot but the bee ladies aren't very kind oh but the bee ladies aren't very kind and they attack and it's just really lonely so I think trying to get some 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 people moved in would be great now with that comes a bunch of construction right tearing down trees making way getting rid of grass so i think i want to have like a little a little village going on right in this area i think this area is perfect to to get a little a little civilization going i'm very very lonely very very lonely so yeah I honestly don't know though like who who should our first who should our first oh that scared me <laughs> who should our first person be should it be a, a monster a monster girl or should it be an actual villager I'm not sure but we're gonna go ahead and excavate this land over here and just make room for for our future civilization Finally, after quite literally days of excavation and just a lot of, of building, we finally have some, some exciting things going on. It's not complete, obviously, because there's roofs missing and, and whatnot, but I do want to show you what I do have complete. So if we come over here and, you know, 
paved the way to just a little bit of a pathway. Come up here, add some rock sculptures, and then you come into our very first completed part of our village. I have this, this little archway with some fairy lights going on. I definitely wanted to kind of mix and match a little bit. I didn't want just one area be for the monster girls and for the mushroom girls and all that. And then another area for just villagers. I wanted them to be mixed up. So this house will be the villager houses. And it's definitely a little funky design, but I kind of, I honestly, like I went, I went based off a picture, but honestly, the only thing that I did from the picture was copy like this part. And then like a little bit of the, um, I guess the, like the, the build itself from like the dimensions, but like this little archway right here, putting these here and putting the barrels here and like all of this, like the little, like the little things was my idea. And I honestly really love the way that this, that the, that the villager house has turned out. So if you go inside you just have a bed and I'm going to put their workstation probably here, but we just have two desks. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So if we go up, I just have it blocked off so you know nobody gets hurt. And this is what the top of it looks like. It's the exact same thing for that house over there. Exact same build. And I'm actually surprised. Like I, when I tell you guys I've been working on this for days, I literally mean days. Like I don't understand why it took me that long, but yeah. So this is the little monster mushroom house and they both look a little different. Just a little bit. Um, I really wanted to use like the actual like mushroom blocks, but pretty sure I need silk touch for that. And it was already like hard enough to, to have to, um, grow the mushrooms to on podzol because i'm pretty sure you need podzol as well to to grow mushrooms but yeah this is just what the inside looks like super duper plain the fact that this took me days to complete is kind of crazy because it really doesn't seem like i did much but it yeah, it took a lot of of brain power quite literally to to build these four houses and and pave this out and make this archway like y'all <laughs> it took so long but yeah this oh we got company i don't got no arrows on me anyways we're gonna ignore the mandragora this is what i'm talking about i haven't broken a single flower and it's just coming after me but um, i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this part um yeah so it's really just houses just unbuilt houses like i have some roofs that are missing and and whatnot i still need to bring bring still need to build the fountain so like literally all I did was like pave the way over here. So not much is going on back here. It's pretty much still the same, but yeah. Um, honestly, let's, let's bring in our first guest. I don't really know who or what it should be, but I'm super excited. Just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Like I, it's kind of crazy how just just looking at the views for my for my last video it's like at, at like 120 views and i have 17 subscribers i love absolutely every single one of you <laughs> for the people who comment and they're like oh i just joined and for those that have been here since i played um my time at portia you guys have been absolutely amazing leaving such nice comments i love getting to know all of you guys oh did i say 120 it has this 163 views just from three days ago which is absolutely mind-blowing and then to look at my subscribers, I'm pretty sure I have 17. Yeah, 17 subscribers. I love all of you guys. You're amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Like, I honestly, it's crazy to, to, to even be here making content. <laughs> One comment that was left on, I think it was my first video from um, somebody said that mushroom girls can be tamed with cookies and rotten flesh. When right clicked with a bowl, they'll give you mushroom stew. So I do have some rotten flesh. I did make these sweet berry cookies, so we can try these. We can, but I do want to go ahead and make just regular cookies. Just because, like, just, just in case, just in case. Oh, wow. There's a lot of cookies. <laughs> oh, okay. So just a regular cookie is wheat and cocoa beans. I'm doing a lot of cooking. <laughs> <laughs> doing a lot of cooking okay let's do let's just 
make it all. Make all the wheat. I, I need to get it made. I definitely need to get it made. Um, cocoa beans. Okay. So let's just match that number real quick. Oh, perfect. I love when stuff works out like that. Okay, so it should just be cocoa beans and wheat. And boom, we have a cookie. By the way, I have no clue where Zeph is. Here's Celeste and here is Reese. Oh my God, leave me alone. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Anyways, yeah, I have no clue where Zeph went. They were wandering and... um. Oh, he's all the way over here. <laughs> Zeph, what are you doing? Where is this cat, y'all? Hello? Oh, let me let me sleep real quick. Oh, Zeph. Oh my goodness. Okay, since you want to go on an adventure so bad, you can come with me to find a a mushroom girl. I keep saying monster girl, <laughs> a mushroom girl. Where'd she? Oh, also from that exact same comment, that person was very helpful. I appreciate it. Um, I'm pretty sure in that first video, I was messing around with like these things and I, I think I broke something from it, but I was told that under here is like a place with like a bunch of spawners and, and loot that I can get. So I might come back to this, um, a little bit later, but not right now. But yeah, I do, I do know that I'm pretty sure they were talking about this. If they weren't, then I have to go back in and check on that. But, oh, speaking of the devil, here's one right now. Okay. Let me take this out of my inventory. Hello. It's a male. Oh, <gasps> yay. And there's another one over here too. Hello. Oh, <laughs> small, medium, large. That makes sense. Yay! Look what I have stumbled upon. Okay, do I feed you cookies? You want this? Oh, I'm eating the cookie. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Do you want this or do you want this? Oh, 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 run, run. Oh, what do I spy with my little eye? Hello. Would you like this? Oh, a stingy one. Oh my god. Oh, so stingy. She must have been hungry. Oh, hello. Do you want a cookie? Yes, you do, Zef. I'm not sure if it's just me, but when I don't use OBS Studios, just the S in OBS means Studios, I don't know, but whenever I use OBS, it actually drops my, my frames. I don't know what's up with that, and I don't appreciate it either. Because <laughs> whenever I run just regular shaders, oh, is that a hexaray? Um... I think it is. Whenever I run shaders just without OBS, it's fine, right? It's completely fine. But then as soon as I start running OBS... <gasps> no, I'm out of bone meal! Well, I wasn't expecting her to be stingy. Um, Whenever I run OBS, it just drops. Like, completely drops. Okay, well. We're just gonna make a little temporary waypoint to let us know that she's here. And then we're gonna make our way back home because we need to get these girlies back home safe. So, oh, looking. Oh, oh, hello. Oh my God, there's so many ghosts. <laughs> so what's going on? <laughs> she's so cute. It kind of looks like she's wearing gloves. In these houses over here, we have our ink cap mushroom girl, and in the final house over here, we have our. Oops, she's kind of hiding. We have our red mushroom gal. Oh my gosh. I'm finally not alone, you guys. This is so nice. I think that is a perfect place to go ahead and end today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.